Hello, this is your tarot reading for Sunday the 29th of November. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the Wheel of the Year tarot for today's reading. What have we got here? We've got death as the first card, and that represents an ending. So, you know, we are nearing the end of the month, so it's pretty much the end of November. We've also got that bonfire here, the pumpkins, and um, up here in the Northern Hemisphere, this is really what's going on. So it's the kind of shift the energetic shift from one time of the year into the other. It's also about new beginnings. You can see that new moon. So whether it's just the time of year changing or something leaving your life and something new coming in, basically we're on the cusp on this day, on the Sunday, where one, thing's en one thing ends and another starts. That's really echoed by the moon in reverse here, the high priestess rather, which is represented as this crescent moon. And the High Priestess is about having all the knowledge in the world, but not taking action, okay? And because it's in reverse, it means taking guided, informed action. Something is ended, you're starting something new. You have more energy, you're using your knowledge to move forward with that energy. The final card is the Nine of Chalices in reverse. And you can see a celebration there. People are happy. People are enjoying themselves. This is in reverse. So it may be that what's come to an end is something positive relationship-wise. Maybe something good that's been in your life for a while is now no longer good. Maybe it comes to an end. So it could be that this is a relationship that ends. Or it could be that this is a friendship that ends. Maybe it's something that you've seen coming for a while but you didn't want to act on. And it just comes to a head today, or maybe it's some sort of community that comes to an end. But really what I get is a break from something that's been established in your life. It creates a vacuum in your life. It gives you new energy to move forward and to create new relationships and to make a shift in your personal life, and especially in regard to other people. So let's have a look at the numbers. We've got 13 and 2 is 15. 15 and 9 is 24, 2 and 4 is 6 in numerology. And this is um, a temporary opening, a, a shift, a real um, change in your life path, in your life circumstances. And this is a door of opportunity that opens. Okay, so I wouldn't bemoan the, um, the ending too much. I wouldn't um, look at the negative of this, I would look at the new opportunity that presents itself as a result of this ending, whatever it may be, because it will be positive. The new moon is about planting seeds of intention and watching them grow. So you'll really get an insight or an inspiration in terms of a new way forward as a result of this ending that occurs. So it doesn't seem super, super positive on the surface, but something more good will come out of this in the end. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. And if you would like um, to find me on Facebook, I'm there as well. It's gregoryscott444. And please remember to subscribe to the channel.